So one of the key updates that are being added with Forever Communities is uh, some additional options in the supply locker and a few changes to the way the supply locker works. Specifically because we found that people who had been playing the same community for a really, really long time had basically outstripped our expectations for what they were going to be putting in this supply locker. They need And they needed a little bit of extra help. So um, Chris, do you want to sort of guide me around here? Like show me what what the biggest improvements are you can see that there's already i can already see that there's uh this left trigger option here called sorted by yep. something yeah so as most players know we had sorting options before we just didn't say what it was sorting by so it toggle between all the different sorting options but there was just no way to see like oh i'm sorting by this method or that method it was more based off of like oh i can just tell or hopefully it can just tell and that was one thing we wanted to do was just make it that much more usable or friendly uh, in terms of being able to more easily understand how it works from the second you start rather than just having to be a pro at the game before you know how it works. Uh, and then each of the subcategories were like, so there's the all items, ranged weapons, melee weapons, consumables, crafting, and miscellaneous. Uh, those can be sorted by different types. Right now, type is the default for all of them, which is kind of like the, the default that was previously there, but just not specifically called out. And then we have methods for being able to sort by damage or uh, value recently added is one that I use kind of often on my side too. Uh, for that one, it's like, hey, I'm on one character. I put in some items in the supply locker and now I swap to a different character that I want to pull those items from and they're all right at the top. So that's something that I use pretty often. Yeah, that is that is really convenient. Uh, one, we do have a little bit of a known issue in the uh, in the ranged weapons tab. A few people have mm -hmm. been calling that out. That uh, I think one of the causes uh, seems to be if you have more than one stack of the same ammo type, like you can see here, I've got uh, 313 light bolts here and also 999 light bolts here. <laughs> I just never use light bolts, and so they just pile up forever in my inventory. That can cause uh, some of the, uh, the the sorting to get a little bit scrambled, and so that's one of the bugs that is 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 on our plate that we that we understand, and we're gonna be working on trying to get a fix out as soon as we can but yeah this yep. is oh sorry yeah you go ahead and tell me what you were going to tell me i was just going to add that uh we also have uh stacking for ranged weapon mods and facility mods too we you can talk right about here. the idea of having weapons in general stack but then it gets complicated because you could have one weapon that's a damaged or broken and another that's in pristine condition, so how do you stack those? Exactly, I've got two M9s here, complicated. and both of them, you know, the, the, we, it, theoretically you can stack them, except this one's got 15 bullets in it, and this one's got zero bullets in it. And so it, what, right. if I want one or the other of these, if they were stacked, that would be really tough. But down here at the bottom, scroll all the way down, you can see I've got nine handmade breaks, which would have been just a wall of breaks uh, in the original system. And now they stack beautifully together and it's so much more, uh, so much easier to, to manage. So yeah, I really appreciate that. Uh, I, I think that close combat weapons also stack if you have multiples of the same type. I tend to be pretty religious about mulching yep. those when I have too many, so I might not have those to show. Oh, here we go. Yeah, three rescue knives. Man, the world is just full of rescue knives. Uh, <laughs> but I've got three of them all stacked together now. So stuff is all so much more convenient. Yeah, that was one way that we were hoping to cut down on the amount of clutter in uh, folks' storage or supply locker. Now, my favorite way to cut down on clutter in the supply locker is to mulch things, is to salvage things. Uh, and for a long time, the only things I was allowed to salvage were some of my most valuable items, like, you know, weapons, uh, melee weapons, ranged weapons, and that was kind of it. But uh, you'll notice that the salvage button down here uh it's still here even for consumables and it's still here even for facility mods and it's still here even for backpacks look at this i've got so many burnt umber hiking packs i mean how many of those do you really need i'm gonna salvage one of them oh i get 30 parts from it my my access to parts just got so much higher <laughs> is there anything you can't salvage anymore yeah, there are a couple mission-specific items. I think there's a handful of other ones that are either you can only have one chance to get them or it's just very particular in the circumstances that you can't get them. So we like avoided those getting salvaged just because we didn't feel like it was worth the risk of someone potentially losing them forever in their community or their save. So yeah. Yeah, once I break down, uh, once I break down my Haven device, I probably don't want to uh, don't want to salvage the Haven capsule. So. I appreciate that. That is the kind of thing I would accidentally do.